Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to discuss of how we felt our experience was with the social distancing, social distancing measures and everything else that Magic involved Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Passholder preview and how we felt comfortable with everything. Um, so we'll start it off with the parking and how we got in. So for the annual passholder preview day, they actually had it where they were only allowing groups of cars in at a time, so it wouldn't cause a mass exodus of people into the park, um, which was really great. So what that means basically is that they would allow they. Each row of cars to get in the gate, there was maybe 20, 30 cars, and then they would let maybe 120 cars at a time park, and then you go in, and then you have to go through the check-in line and all that. So what the reason why they did that was so a giant influx of people wouldn't go in at once. And Also, when we actually parked, they kept a spot parking yes. spot empty next to the car. Yeah, so, so they would put, you, you, if you've ever been to Disney, they park car, 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 car. This one they did a car and a car, then leave space. space. Car and a car, car leave space. space. Yeah, which was awesome. It was cool. But at the end of the day, we did see that people were parked into those spots. Yeah, so they did it in the beginning of the day, but as the day went on. Um, now, when you get to the... Uh, when you park, you can't, there's no trams. You have to walk to get to the chicken transportation. Yes, there is no, there's no trams as of right now, which makes sense. Um, then once you get up to the security, very simple. You uh, get your temperature check first, and then security. When we go into security, there's um. They have metal. Got, they have the metal detectors that we normally go into with going into Magic Kingdom. But then they make you take your electronics out of your bag and anything yeah. metal out of your bag and put it in a tote, kind of like. Yes. And then you walk. Just like how it always is with the cell phone and keys as whatever yeah. you go to Disney. But they, you can walk with your stuff into the yes. metal detector. And they don't, they ask you to open your bags and take everything out of your bag. If, if Because I actually had an issue where I had some aluminum foil from our sandwiches in our bag. Um, and my Apple card is metal, so it kept going off. It was in my bag. So I actually had to take everything because they're not allowed to touch your bags physically. You have to open it up and show, show them, them what's in yeah. your bag. Um, but it's Super not that simple. bad. Everyone was really nice. You could tell the cast members were just happy as to be kind, back. just happy to be back, but also you know trying to fig not touch a bag. Like the guy, the security guy Most went to go touch a bag. He's like, oh wait, I can't do that. But because I guess that was probably one of the first people he interacted with during the day. But overall, that was great. Now, they did have the ferry open, but we decided to take the monorail, monorail there yeah. and we take the ferry back. So when we got to the monorail, as you go up, very simple, there's lines, lines on the road you say, you know, stand here please, and that forward. And also, for the monorail, it took a few minutes because each They're only car, putting so many people yeah, in the car. Yeah, each car can only have up to four people in it and you have to sit so we were in the car with another couple, couple yeah but they had this you cannot allowed to stand and you have to sit in the seats and that and they sat on one side we sat on the other it was very fine i wasn't too concerned yeah. and they also had like these plastic screens in between the other cars so you're not in contact with anybody um, and then leaving was easy. Leave, getting out of the monorail, monorail was easy because yes. there's not that many people yeah, in the monorail to simple. start with. Now, when we got up to the tickets and everything to get in, extremely simple. Obviously, they don't have the fingerprint scan anymore. Yeah. But so how they go off of it is when you scan your annual pass, or they, they have an iPad and they no, see. That was just for the annual pass. Oh. For the actual. This, for actual um, going in, you just scan it on the Mickey little. Mm -hmm. Thing just you don't scan your finger. Yeah, uh, but what I could tell with the annual pass, they had their iPads and they can see your picture pop up, so they know it's you, and that's kind of like the new fingerprint scan. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to do at least for annual pass holders. Um, and then once you get in, really not that many crowds. It was it, for the annual pass holder day. They only had seven thousand people there, 
So it was dead. You know, before the assault happened, the max capacity of Magic Kingdom was, was 70,000. Like 70 yeah. So going from that to a tenth of that, it was pretty cool. I mean, I, I loved it, and I think Disney, it was a good move on their part. They didn't open all the uh, the restaurants, all the stores and everything for the yeah, Castle Yeah, I know preview. Casey's Corners is closed. The ice cream shop on Main Street was closed. Yes. Like certain... Tony's. I, Tony's. Was Tony's closed? Tony's was closed, yeah. Um, uh, the uh, the food spot under Astro Orbiter was closed. Yes, the, the store time. right next to Launching. Stitch's Great Skip was closed. But overall, it makes sense. Why open a bunch of stores when there's only seven thousand people? Yeah, in there? I, so, if I'm correct, I from what I've watched from some of my other YouTubers is that some of those stores have now opened because now they're at a fifteen thousand person capacity. So yeah. we can't really speak on how that feels because we, we weren't will there yet. Speak about it on the twenty fifth when yes. we go. Not the annual pass. Preview yes. Day. Um, but that overall, that was good. And now throughout the park. You know, every ride, every store, they had please, you know, stand here type of deal. Um, there was a limit capacity for each store, so at the exit and entrance, of, they had only one exit and one entrance for each store. And there was a person tallying how many people were in yeah, the store. Yeah, so they have their iPhones and they just, you know, add to. And we never had to wait in line for a store, but the only store that did have a line was the Splash Mountain one, and it was a virtual queue. But even that, they had you social distance for that. Um... And then ride experiences were great. I mean, everything the light, was less than twenty minutes. Less long. than twenty minutes long. Obviously, that's going to change now that they've doubled that capacity. Um, so it's probably going to double it was those still times. Wasn't that bad. But it's still twenty minutes for a ride is nothing, and it's really not that. Um, and we really like all the all the rides that we rode that said twenty minutes, thirty minutes were literally walk on. Yeah. It was My mom, simple. who is a cast member, said if there's a long wait. It's probably because they're cleaning the vehicles. They stop the whole entire ride and clean every ride vehicle every two hours. Yes. So. Yeah, and that, like I said, that that's great. Um, we actually brought wipes to wipe down the seats, which was kind of hard to remember, but we did. We did yeah. Um, hand sanitation. Uh, when you get everywhere. on the ride, when you go in the queue. Get right before you get on the ride. No, I did, some of them weren't right before well, the ride. Some of them some had more, it, some were. But some, most of them were right before you get in the queue, and then right after the ride is over. Yeah. Um, and another thing, too, not all, like, the popcorn stations were open. Um, some of them were, some of them weren't. Dole Whips was open, which was nice. Oh, and food, anything quick service food-wise is mobile order. Yeah, you have to do through mobile, even Dole Whip. But yeah. Dole Whip did have one register that wasn't mobile order, which was nice because there was an older couple there that didn't understand the whole mobile order concept. Um, I'm sure that's probably what they're going to end up doing is they're going to have designated one register for not mobile orders for people who just don't understand it. Because, yeah. look, some people still have flip phones. It's a thing. Um, but, yeah, it, other than that, you know, it was really cool because they did have the little parades going through just so people would have something to look at. Um, you know, but overall, I give Disney, a, you know... I'm not. I'm a little biased because I love Disney, but at the end of the day, it's the best they could possibly do with the short amount of time they've yeah. had to try to figure it and out. And honestly, I feel safer at Disney than I would feel at a grocery yeah, store. Yeah, you know the thing. The thing about it is, everyone was telling me how concerned they were for us to go, and I said, "You, the there's nowhere other than a few restaurants in Orlando that I've been that not even restaurants, just stores that I've been to that actually check your temperature. You know, granted, the temperature check isn't the most accurate thing in the world." But I at least feel a lot more comfortable knowing that everybody in there has had a temperature check and that nobody has a temperature. You know, there's still a possibility that some asymptomatic people could get in, but you at the end of the day, control that. you know, at least it's a more peace of mind and you just be cautious. I mean, there is hand sanitation things everywhere and hand washing stations. Yeah, they even have hand washing stations, which I don't particularly like those because they don't seem as sanitary to me personally because you still got to grab paper towels and stuff out of them. Um, but other than that, uh, it was it was really great. Everything was set up great. It was very easy to understand. All the signage was very big and bold. You can notice it right on the floor. There were some points in ride lines where you could tell either us would make a mistake and we get too close to somebody or somebody. Yeah. But like everybody's trying. Um, there was no rude guests. There was only like one I or mean, two. I mean, couple of them. But, but in comparison to normal, it was I was really proud of people. See how people were trying and just happy to be there. 
Um, and mm -hmm. cast members especially. All the cast members couldn't have been any better. Yeah, they definitely were happy to be back. And other than that, guys, I think that, you know, that pretty much sums it all up. I mean, we, we, we could go into more detail, but at the end of the day, we wanted as much detail as we can. All the bathrooms are open, all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, they felt extremely clean. Every time I went in there, it smelled like yeah. Every time I went clean. into the ladies' room, there was someone cleaning. So. Um, uh, and yeah, guys, I, I think that's about it. I mean, all the rides. Uh, the one thing you could definitely tell is it's kind of like the cruise lines now, where every day they power wash it because there was things that had always been kind of dusty and dirty that look spotless <laughs> that are now spotless, and you can tell. I mean, there's puddles everywhere. You can tell that when they close the parks at the end of the day, it's probably just like the cruise lines where they power wash everything. It was bad. nice to see construction on Tron still going. Uh, it was nice to see that construction on everything on property was still mm -hmm. seemed like the it was castle. Going. Looks so much prettier yeah, in person. Don't, don't, don't look at the pictures and be like, oh, that's so bad. It looks so pretty in person. It yeah. actually looks like a royal And castle. listen, at the end of the day, everyone always judges new things. It's always going to be haters. Every time they change the castle, people hate it. Yeah. Personally, I... Eventually, I'll, they'll change it back to yeah. the normal castle. Like or they they'll change it to do. a different one. And to be completely honest, I think this one looks great. It adds character. It looks alive. The older castle, it looked good. But it kind of looked dated. Plain. It looked dated. It it didn't look alive anymore. It looked dull to me. Like just the white and blue. Like it's well, cool. I mean, it had like that light pink. But that but light pink faded quick. It was so faded, and it just it didn't look right. This just looks like Magic Kingdom. It look it looks like it looks like a princess's castle that you would draw as a child, and that's the point. It's supposed to make you feel like a kid when you go there. That was the whole yeah, point it of so pretty point of Magic Kingdom. So. Overall, guys, I give Disney, I, I would say a solid 9 because there were a few things that I definitely think they should have done a little differently, but nothing that was so major that I would even say it here. Yeah, the only complaints were literally the guests, not even Disney themselves. No, I, my, only compl my only complaint, honestly, was I would have liked to have seen uh, more options when it came to uh, like ice cream and foods and stuff like that because there were a few definitely it would have been really nice it was such a hot day to be able to get uh, ice, ice cream, cream at the yeah. ice cream parlor I thought that was kind of silly that they didn't have that one open um, I also I also think that because the heat is so bad and everyone's wearing masks I think they should be supplying water easily it's accessible like to everybody it's like then people touch the water and it's contaminated. No, but it's but like, it's, it's not just... that hard. They could easily fill up cups pre-handed and sanitize. I think that would be one. Uh, that would be a nice gesture with it being so hot. Yes, you can go to the Starbucks or any of the restaurants to get water, which is really nice. They're not even at the um, even at the popcorn stations. They're they're giving out cups of water. Yeah. You have to ask for it. Um, and it, I, I think it'd be nice if Disney had s set up water stations, just because when you're breathing with those masks, you get such bad dry. Yeah, the mouth. mask. That's the, it, yeah, was, that's, it was rough. Like I what, highly suggest that's if you're bringing gonna, extra, if bring extra mask and don't get really heavy cloth ones because we had some that were really heavy cloth and some that weren't, and the ones that were heavy cloth were horrible to deal with all day. It's, but the lighter ones were fine. I, I think it is it, still a little hard because and if you're wearing sunglasses or reading glasses or just normal glasses, it. The mask thing is very difficult. I'm not going to yeah, say it it's not. I couldn't wear my sunglasses because they kept fogging up. That's also because I have a giant nose and it makes it easy for the air to get through. <laughs> but it, it was very hard to deal with the mask, but it is manageable. Yeah, I, I mean, I, the mask doesn't bother me just because I'm so used to wearing them at work anyway. So it is what it is. But guys, I think that's pretty much that's everything. We, we were super static. If you guys have any more questions or anything related to Disney's opening, Please. just leave a comment down below. Yep. And I will answer them. And we're going to really, now that Disney's starting to open and once we start getting more reservations, we're going to start dedicating, we've realized that the channel, you guys really like the Disney stuff, so we're going to start yeah, posting more and more Disney dedicating than just our Disney li daily live yeah. stuff. Because let's be honest, everyone's daily now. life is really boring at this time, so we're going to try to give you guys as much Disney entertainment as we can. Yes, yeah, so I, we will be going to Epcot next week. Yep. And Animal Kingdom next weekend, yep. so we will be blogging those days. Literally and then the next, the next weekend we go back to Magic Kingdom. Yep. And then in August we have a Fort Wilderness trip book, yep. and I have. And we'll be there for two and a half weeks, so Hannah's gonna have plenty, plenty of, of entertainment for you. Because we're going to be taking Angie into the park. Yep. Uh, also, disability assistance, because I know this is a big part for people who have special needs kids. 
is still available. Yes. There is no fast passes, there is no single riders, but disability assistant is still available and those are the only people who are using the fast pass lane. Yes. So, which is yeah, really good. Which to know. is great. Hey, so, this is that's happens. another perk for people with disability. They get to be in that fast pass lane. They don't have to walk through a line with people. Yes. So, overall, guys, I give it a nine out of ten. I think Disney did as well of a job as they could have. I wouldn't <laughs> ask for more. And today, we're actually going to go out to Disney, Disney Springs, Springs, and I will vlog it so you guys will see it tomorrow. All right, guys, just leave a uh, comments if you need any more right. questions. We'd be glad to answer them. And like and subscribe, and have a great day. Peace out.